Where does that patented EE style come from? Uh, it comes from me just not giving a damn sometimes when I'm on the mic. Like, not about the match or the players, about, like, if I have something that comes to mind that I think is going to be really good for entertainment value and keep somebody invested or stick around, I tend to say it. Obviously, as we've expanded more into, like, the esports realm, I kind of dial it back a little bit. Like, everything that comes to mind, I don't necessarily say it, but I do try and keep that, like, entertainment value because like when I watch commentary or listen to commentary excuse me I want to be entertained I want to get invested with the players I don't want to just hear a bunch of like you know frame data you know what I mean like that's cool and stuff and it's cool to pepper that in but I think you want to tell a story and capture people's you know uh, minds and entertain them in that aspect if coaches were ineffective nobody would have one and nobody would care if somebody had one right so we can assume that coaches have some degree of effectiveness if you get the right people who know what they're doing and who know what they're talking about. Um, so the idea now is, well, where do we find more effective coaches? Well, you need more people to want to become effective coaches. And MedSec Coaching showcases that this is an available position for people. It, for it, yeah, exactly. It's good for branding. It's just a different kind of branding. And if there's no mid-say coaching, then it kind of takes it off the table. It kind of delegitimizes coaching to remove it from the, the rule set in this format. Because the economic nature of our scene is so shallow, because money is so hard to come by in the scene, it's difficult for people to find the resources to employ coaches. And for that reason, a lot of players are at a disadvantage because a coach is simply something that they cannot afford to have. It's too expensive to have a coach. But... If we want to continue to grow our industry forward, we cannot penalize those who invest into the tools and resources that do allow them to push the industry forward because otherwise we'll never be able to move forward at all, right? You can't say, oh, well, since everybody else in the scene doesn't have a coach already, then you can't have a coach. Well, then we'll never have coaches. We need somebody like Zero to step up and say, I'm gonna get a coach, and then bring on Pierce, to, to start the trend of saying, okay, now it's your turn. The thing that makes the PGR kind of special for a lot of the scene is the production when it comes to celebrating, highlighting, and putting into context a lot of like what it means to be top 50 or like who these top 50 are. So definitely production is the hardest part and what everyone takes for granted, what I used to take for granted. Um, that's why when I see things like this or like, you know, in general, just anything that's made by the community or like when people try to do stuff, like they see that it's really hard and then people point out the mistakes and then they're just demoralized from doing it ever again. And I just think and say, yeah, that's how it is. But at Momocon, I think he got third, he lost to Fatali in Nairo. And he felt really down, you know, like sometimes you get really sad and just, you sh I told him like, dude, don't be alone. Just come hang out with me and Larry or something. Larry was with us too. And he, he came by and just, you know, he, he appreciated the, the whole support, the words. And just, we, we ended up having a good night instead of like just depressive, like, oh, I lost. You know, just you keep thinking about it. You keep going on your phone. just like, I lost to this person. Oh, I can't believe it. It's just that, you know, I saw Ally doing poorly at EVO. You know, and I did really well at Eva that day. So I was just thinking, you know what? You know, I'm not sure if Ali will want to listen to my work. That's what I thought at the moment. But I'll try. Because I feel like if I was in that position, I would really appreciate if he came. Or I would really appreciate if someone else showed that they, they gave a damn. You know, someone else that I respect. Someone else that I feel like, you know, is like doing the same thing that I am doing. And, you know, I went there, you know, I, I took him out to dinner. And I was like, you know, well, let's talk, you know. Let's, let's hear you out, you know, let's have a decent time, you know, and um, that's kind of how it was. And then, you know, next time I didn't do as well, Ally did pretty much the same thing. Now, whenever one of us lose, we, we just try to support each other. I got destroyed Evo and Zero was there for me. Um, we got destroyed, I think he got destroyed. Uh, he got destroyed at uh, Grenade Saga and he was like, you know, after he lost, he's like, he was... Most likely sad, and he walked past me, and he's like, you know, he tapped me, he tapped me here, and he's like, you can do it, like, you know, he gave me like, you know, if I if I, I lost, I'm out, you have to do it now, and uh, I was like, I got you zero, I was like, yeah, I'll do it for zero, you know, so I I I remember those things because, um, Ali, like I said, Ali is a very kind person, he's the type of person that remembers if you do something for him, he's the type of person that remembers 
kind acts. He's the type of person that remembers the small little things that people do for each other. He's uh, he's very kind in that sense, you know. So you know, it's it's never it's never good to be alone, basically. Like no matter who you are, even if it's someone I don't really like, if I see them sad, I'm still gonna talk to them. I'm I'm not I don't hate anyone really. I, there's some players that maybe trigger me a little bit, but I'm never if I see someone that triggers me sad or like really depressed. I'm not gonna be like, hey, yeah, fuck you. Like, you know, I'm I'm not gonna be like that. I'm just gonna be like, yeah, you know, I'll talk to him. Like, don't worry about it, man. It happens to everybody. Just just go chill with your friends or don't stay alone. It's never good to be alone. And they didn't even fight each other in bracket. You know what I mean? They both got upset pretty early, and neither one of them made top eight. So that was actually pretty nutty. That whole tournament was was pretty ridiculous when you think about it. But just the fact that they could burst something like that is pretty impressive. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Man, that was like... <laughs> Dang. Yep, my fault. Oh. Come on, man. Yeah. Come on, man. You got to keep that part. Keep that part. Keep... Just, just sit up. <laughs> Come on, man.